Kinetic art is art that has to do with movement. That is uh, incorporating into work of art, into uh, two-dimensional things, the third dimension, which is time. Once you have a time element in the work of art, it becomes kinetic. This is the working definition of uh, kinetic art, but you have different types of kinetic art. You have kinetic art that the object is moving. The other one you are having that you are moving too, like a gun, for example, who does a work and something happens to you that your eyes start to float around because of either the perceptual quality of the work itself or because you have to walk around the work and then you see it in different ways. So here you have a kinetic work of a certain degree that the work itself doesn't move but you move in order to absorb it or perceive it from all sides. Another kinetic object that you have is working with the sun, for example, if you put it through a filter. There is a professor in Haifa in the Technion who does work with this sort, is well known, Hönig, and creates with the sun. So you have another kinetic appearance. But basically I would say that kinetic art or kinetic uh, object is uh, an object that uh, has an element of time in it, whether incorporated by natural powers like wind, the sun and so on and so forth or by mechanical powers of a motor type of thing that moves by energy or by battery or by electricity or any type of other um, energy that goes into it. So this is basically what uh, kinetic art is. People who ask the question whether this is a kinetic art or whether kinetic object that move is art, well, this is a difficult question sort of to uh, answer because uh, I believe that all that people do eventually, if it's good enough, it uh, might become an art form. That is, that uh, uh, whether this object is art or not is irrelevant for the joy that one can derive from it. I think that's a question to historians and to uh, people to decide whether this is art or not is not up to uh, us or the artists themselves to, uh, to decide.
Uh, let me, for example, try and demonstrate a certain point, how we can actually build a certain sculpture. Now watch that. You can have here a certain form of design, and the child or the grown-up learns how to work with this type of elements in order to create certain sculptures or certain type of geometrical position. Now, if I add anything else here, it will exactly, it will immediately change the whole structure. Here. You see what is happening? When the magnetic powers change, the whole structure is changing. And when the child is playing with it, he can learn about two primary important things. One is the geometrical type of composition, the relationship of certain bodies, a square a cube to a ball to a cylinder, and the magnetic powers that exist within this plate. very much interested in perception why people see the way they see and try to create new impression and new perceptions so you have two type of levels of intellectual activity throughout the world which enhance the kinetic art as background that is today is a technological society therefore technology is part of artistic creation or vice versa 
But if you take the intellectual part from the other side, which is the preoccupation with the problem of perception and looking at the world, you find out that these two things, one is perception, the other one is technology, are the primary factors which contribute to the kinetic art. art as a symbol of our time, that is, outcome of technological society, where you have all the signs of technological societies, like the traffic lights, the advertising, everything pouring into you, information and lights and things, of course it affects us. change radically and incorporate more elements of sensations into it. It's going to be connected to sound, to music, to computer type music, and the visions are going to change. And we are going finally to have a technological multimedia type of art. Actually, you can see that uh, there are a few basic things which kinetic art brings out. You have some works of art which uh, in many ways relaxes you, especially in a stressed world of uh, multi-signs, signs of traffic, noises of factories, uh, airplanes, uh, all the speed that's going on. On the other hand, you have works of art, kinetic art, which stimulate you. I think that uh, the best work of art, or a good work of art, is not the one which is only sublime, or only stimulating, or only new or novel. But I think the good work of art is one that would make you think, that would make you wonder, that would make one wonder as far as to what direction we are going now. Mm -hmm. 